as you might have seen, the Lumen device measures metabolism through the breath. The way that it works is that inside the device, there's a CO2 sensor and a flow sensor. So you inhale to the device for four seconds, hold your breath for 10, and then exhale for six. On that exhale, the CO2 sensor kicks in and it measures the concentration of CO2 in your breath. When you're at a lower concentration, you're burning fats. At a, at a higher concentration, you're burning mainly carbs. So depending on the timing and context of the day, you wanna be burning different fuel sources. So this all gets transmitted on an app on your phone. And if you were to only take one measurement in the day, we recommend the morning measurement. So that's after your overnight fast, when you've done your longest fasting period through the day, you ideally wanna be in fat burn. That indicates that your body has shed all those carb stores in your, in your body, and now you're starting to get into that visceral fat. So that's really what we're aiming for in Lumen. And then other measurements that you can take throughout the day are before workout. If you're doing something medium to higher intensity, you want to be in carb burns, so that you have those glycogen stores in your body and that you're not burning lean muscle mass during an exercise. If you're in fat burn and you want to do an exercise, we say maybe do something low steady state cardio to stay in that fat burning mode, but don't do something too intensive. If you want to take a measurement before and after a meal, that's a good time. If you're eating something that's really high in carbs, you want to take a measurement before and then an hour after, and you want to see a quick spike. That indicates that you're really insulin sensitive and that your body's able to take that food in, metabolize it quickly, and then use it for fuel. If you're very insulin resistant, we're going to see a very slow increase in your lumen levels. Maybe you'll be in fat burn one hour, another hour, carb burn, then a few more hours, you're still in carb burn. That shows that your body is taking a while to use that food for fuel and you're not very insulin sensitive quite yet. So the lumen is a really customizable tool in that you can take measurements throughout the day. And depending on when you're taking that measurement and what your goal is, you're going to try to aim for different levels on fasting. So like I said, if you only take one measurement in the day, you want to take that morning measurement. And if you want to continue your fast, that's great. You can do so. So let's say you wake up at a level two, which is fat burn. Then you want to keep fasting. We say take another measurement in an hour. Maybe you'll get deeper into fat burn. But at a certain point, what you'll notice is that your scores will start to go up. So it's like, why did that happen? I haven't had anything to eat. So that's likely a cortisol response in that your body's starting to get stressed and that you've overfasted. So we say with Lumen, you can find your ideal fasting window by taking a measurement, waking up in fat burn, and then seeing at what point do you start to go back into carb burn when you still haven't ate. How many levels are there? What was that? Oh, five levels. There's five. five yeah. levels. And how does that correlate with, um, with ketone strips and, and if there's anything like that? So it's not a keto diet and we're not aiming for ketosis. So there's no um, keto strip in it. What we actually have noticed is that people who are very deep into ketosis, they actually, they breathe less fatty acids and they're actually more likely to be in carb burn. So we don't necessarily always recommend lumen with a keto diet. Okay. Yeah. So if they are um, fasting for two days, for example, Mm -hmm. um, really getting into deep state, um, deep state, they're getting into keto they're in deep ketosis, mm -hmm. <clears throat> most likely. Um, and then they're going into a, some, some sort of autophagy at some stage. Does, does that, does that reading correlate with, with what, um, Lumen measures as, in a way uh, as being category three or four or something like that of, um, of you fats as energy? Yeah, so it will. So if you get really into that deep state of fat burn, you will get back into that levels one and two, and it will show that. But if you are, you know, just starting out and doing a, a two day fast, it's likely that at first your body's going to, you know, shut down a little bit and you're going to have that cortisol response. And then you will be in carb burn for maybe a few hours to a day. So you can still use the lumen if you are doing really deep, longer fasting like that but it won't be necessarily as indicative as something like a ketosis strip. So after you take your morning measurement, you're going to get your daily nutrition plan for the day. So based on your goals, your profile, and how much you move, which we take in from Apple Health and Google Fit, we're going to create a custom nutrition plan for the day. On days that you're waking up in carb burn, so that four and five, we're going to recommend a lower carb day so that the next morning you wake up back in fat burn. 
days that you're consistently waking up in fat burn each morning, you're going to start to get medium and higher carb days to allow your body to then use different fuel sources at different times. So it's not just a low carb diet every single day, but we do sort of smart carb cycling in that based on your morning measurement, you're going to get a different carb serving each day. And we basically keep protein constant. And then we just adjust your carbs and fats based on your morning levels. So when you say we we adjust, we customize, mm -hmm. how does that has that actually um provided? Has that has that is it is it almost like a an, a number will define what what suggestions to have? Yeah. So it's all through an app on your phone. And mm -hmm. after you take that level, depending on what you get, it'll say, here's your daily plan. It's a medium carb day. So it'll say have 75 grams of carbs, 150 grams of protein and maybe 90 grams of fat. And also here's a way that you could split it up throughout the day. So we recommend eating most of your carbs early on in the day, and then having pretty much 30 to 35 grams of protein each meal, and then splitting up your fats. Yeah, 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 right. So that's basically a day in the life of Lumen and how you can use the <clears throat> at different times in the day. And then by following the nutrition plan, sort of, improving your metabolic health. And then also eventually if your goal is weight loss, it comes with a caloric deficit. So then, you know, getting towards a sustainable and healthy weight loss, that's not just a restrictive low carb diet. Mm. At what stage do you recommend people start this is if in, <clears throat> as far as, as far as working in with their behavior changes that you want them to adopt Mm -hmm. At what stage, at what stage? I mean, I know, I know any stage might be the answer, but what are you seeing in some of your um, trials or any uh, case studies that are yeah. proving it? So our, I would say our sweet spot for people who are most successful are typically either men or women between, let's say, 35 and 50, who maybe their BMI is elevated, but they're not, you know, they, they don't want to take any medicine they, don't, they want to do a natural solution, but they're ready to make a lifestyle change because just breathing it into the device, you're not going to magically shed off the weight. It does take, you know, the work on your end to follow that nutrition plan, to move more, to exercise, to try to get enough sleep. So we, we call it like a guided journey and that we will give you the tips to do it, but we don't by any means call this a magic pill. It does take a, a lot of work on your end to, you know, have a healthy diet and to start moving more and all those other things that do affect your metabolism and weight loss. So we really think that like that 35 to 50 range is sort of where we found that people are most motivated. And then also, I guess, more adherent to using, to following the plan. In what stage of the journey uh, into their transformation do people pick up the device and use the tool? That's a good question. I mean, it's really, in terms of our partner program, I would say it's a mixed bag of people who have tried everything else and, you know, they don't really know what to do left to people who maybe they just had a child and gained some weight and now want to lose it and they can't lose weight anymore because their metabolism slowed down. So we really yeah. just see a, a full mixed bag of people, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah. I mean, with the Ozempic craze, at least in the US, we're seeing a lot of people who took Ozempic, lost weight, and then gained it back, and now their doctor won't give it to them, or now it's too expensive and they need something else. So that's sort of what we've been seeing recently, but it is sort of a mix of a bunch of different... What's that, what's that medication called? Ozempic? Oz Ozempic. Mm -hmm. Like... um. Yeah. GLP-1, like semi-glutide, that there's like weight loss medications that are really big in the US. I don't know if they're big out in Australia yet, but with lots of challenges and lots of barriers. So time is a big problem, um, sometimes money, but um, usually comes down to their um, lack of discipline around nutrition. Uh, and usually they like alcohol as well. So there's some of those two things combined cause an eruption down low, they add on visceral fat and they get, you know, tired or lethargic. <clears throat> so I'm guessing there's a there's a fair bit of research around the benefits of using lumen 
changing their uh, metabolic health and then um, spitting out literally results that they don't see when they're using traditional exercise and trying to, you know, improve their diet, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Are you able to give me an example of some of, of a case study where, you know, group A did this and group B did this and this is what happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually, I'm curious if we have released this study yet. We're working right now on a pre-diabetes population. So a little bit different, but it was 12 weeks with Lumen versus 12 weeks just on your own. And what yeah. we saw was, I think, I think it was a 10 to 15% increase in weight loss, as well as lower A1C levels, triglycerides, all the bad stuff got lower and basically all the all the good stuff was better. So what what sort of um what sort of groundbreaking things is Lumen doing in the market in this space compared to uh competitors? Um I think really we're we're the only one in the space that is addressing metabolism. It seems like a lot of people are doing like, you know, wearables or um, you know, caloric, you know, restrictive eating. I think we're we're the only person in the space that a has a device that tells you what you're burning in real time. And then that feedback is really what's the differentiator. I think the closest comparison is probably a CGM, one of those, mm. one of those um, blood glucose monitors, but yeah. it doesn't, A, they're really expensive. You know, you have to keep buying them every couple of weeks. They're sort of invasive and it doesn't really create that custom plan that Lumen tries to do. So if you have a bagel, you're going to see that your blood glucose goes up and then it goes back down. But what Lumen tries to do is sort of aggregate all of your data and then basically spit out what we're seeing and why you're getting these certain levels. So since we have your sleep data, your step data, what you've had for previous days, we're able to sort of take all of that and then give you, you know, these sort of small, easy to digest plans for how to improve your metabolism. And okay. I think that's really what, you know, we found is the best because, you know, so I feel like people, they want the easy answer all at once. And although we don't provide that, we try to really break down what are macros. I feel like a lot of people don't know what that are, is. And then why is sleep affecting how I can't lose weight? We try to break mm -hmm. that down. So we really focus holistically on metabolism, I think better than really anyone else in the space. And that's what's differentiated us. So this could potentially work quite well for people who don't want to do any intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we say we're fans of fasting because you do want to be waking up in fat burn, but um, you know, after you sleep, that's, that's a fast, but it's really <laughs> how long into that fast are you going to get? Like, with Lumen, I found that I'm at around 15 hour is my intermittent fasting window. And then after that, I start to get into car burn. So we, we call it like smart fasting because it's not, you know, everyone's a little bit different. And if you don't want to do, a you know, a 18.6, you don't have to with Lumen. Yeah, yeah. And you find that people are actually, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> they're responding quite well to the, the customized macronutrient requirements that that's been suggested, they're actually having the portion amounts. Are you finding, obviously it's a loaded question, but you're finding that they're responding quite well to that, to that customized advice. Yeah. I think people, people like that because they don't know really where to begin. So if we just gave yeah. them, if we just gave them their scores and then sent them on their way, it's tough to, to know, to really address what's not working and what is, but by having that, by having that nutrition plan right up front in the center of the app, you know, and by every time you food log, you fill up your circle a little bit, a little bit until you reach mm -hmm. that circle. It's sort of that, it's just another layer of accountability. And if you are trying to lose weight, you do need, I think you need some sort of structure so that you're not just, you know. We integrate with MyFitnessPal for people who do want to use it just because oh, yeah. they're a really good food logger. Yeah. Um, we we try to model our food log after them, but mm. we, I mean, ideally would like to take some of their, of their. Safety data, data around their own 
digital, um, you know, what, what's what's the security around all that stuff? Yeah, so um, whenever a patient begins, the first thing that they'll get is a HIPAA form to allow for data sharing to you. So that is basically the first layer of protection that we add to make sure that everyone, if they want to share their data, they will. If they won't, they won't. And then other than that, we have really strong privacy protections. I mean, we're in the EU and Australia who very stringent data protection and we don't, we never sell data. We never use it, you know, for advertising or anything else. The only data that we collect is for internal and, you know, research purposes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And um, how, how close are you to the um, inventors? Um, you know, you know the girls? <laughs> no, I don't sit across for them. So our, um, our headquarters are in Tel Aviv. So that's where most of the team is. And then we have a small New York office. So that's where I am. But we meet with the founders pretty regularly because this is, this is our main research platform that we use it for with clinics. So they're very invested in, you know, advancing this side of the yeah. business. Yeah, yeah. It would be common to be uh, contacted by people like me who have an online coaching business um, versus people who have a gym chain. So we do um, contacted by, sorry, I missed the beginning of that question. Oh, do you, do you, do you get contacted by gym franchises, gymnasium mm -hmm. franchises about um, deploying this, uh, this tool? Yeah. So we, um, we initially started with gyms and we had good success there um, just because the data is something that we think gym trainers really care a lot about. And that's been helpful. But then we noticed that sort of clinics and people who are working, who have that more holistic view and are seeing patients more regularly is better just because gym trainers, they might see someone for a week and then, you know, the person doesn't want to continue. So they have the yeah. loop now, but the data is not as accessible or as important. Yeah. So we do yeah. talk to gyms and we do have some partnerships with gyms, but mm -hmm. it's mainly... Um, doctors and practitioners who are, you know, they're advising their clients a little bit closer on maybe supplements or medication or, you know, holistic yeah. weight loss. Has to get um, some honesty uh, about where you're going. I'm, I'm guessing Lumen obviously wants to, wants to be the number one in the market in that space, which they're probably already on their own anyway, for metabolic uh, exchange um, data. Yeah, that uh, is. Because yeah, I use well, I use blood I use blood tests to get my my guys um, kind of we we start with that and then we go right we'll just work on supplementing with that. <clears throat> um, but this is kind of takes a lot of the guesswork. But yeah, that's exactly <clears throat> what it, is. it takes it takes the guesswork out of it and then just gives you gives you the plan. So I'm excited yeah. for you. To do that. I'm excited for you to try it out. I think having the background that you have, I think you will you'll see the value in it.